Hi, this is Phil Royer, research engineer at Splunk. Today I want to show a new Phantom community playbook called Azure New User Census. This playbook uses Azure Active Directory and the Microsoft Graph API to list out new user accounts created in the last week. This is an important hygiene check to make sure that accounts aren't being created from unknown sources or that threat actors aren't putting accounts in your systems to make sure they can regain access. Recently, there was a threat actor called Hafnium that used a zero day on the Exchange email server to get access to a, a number of organizations. And one of the things they did was create new user accounts that allowed them to come back in even if their web shells or their other persistence techniques weren't working. So a playbook like this is fairly simple, but it should allow an analyst to see when there are some strange looking accounts that pop into your Azure Active Directory and to try to track down where those came from and make sure they're benign. So to set up this playbook, uh, first you need to do the apps and assets as usual. And so I'll jump over and just show briefly the Azure AD Graph app and the MS Graph for Office 365. So these are a little more complicated setup than some of the other apps because they do use OAuth. So you're going to get a redirect URL out of Phantom, put that into your Azure portal, and then use the test connectivity button in Phantom to actually connect the app and get its OAuth certified. So once you get the, these two apps on here, the, the next one's much more simple. It's just a timer. Uh, I put it here every week on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern just to create a new event and allow us to kick off the playbook. So once you sync from the community playbook repo and you set the playbook to active, you're ready to run it. You can use the pull now button on the timer to push in an event like this. We can see the playbook executed as soon as the container was created and there were three actions run. So if we remind ourselves of the, about the playbook, the first thing it did was list users in Azure Active Directory and create a date time string of one week ago. If you did want to adjust that to two weeks ago, you could do it just like that. Uh, any, any number of days uh, or, or months could be in there. Um, we created that date time string and then compared against the Azure Active Directory created date time to come up with a list of filters to pass to the Microsoft Graph API. So we're gonna grab those same users into in Microsoft Graph to see their Office 365 accounts as well as what's in Azure. So once we formatted the query, we're going to send it into Microsoft Graph and that's gonna list out users with those matching principal names. We're gonna filter it down to match the records that came out of Graph with those that came out of Azure AD just to make sure that we're only looking at one record per account. And then the end of the playbook is just formatting a note for the analyst and saving artifacts, one each for those principal users. And of course, once we build the note, we're gonna add it back to the container and the playbook will be done. So we can see once it's run, it's got a full list of users. There's 17 users in Azure Active Directory. Uh, and then in graph, it's only going back for five of those users because those are the ones that pass the filter with the created date time. So we have IDs, principal names, display names, and we'll see in the note actually that we're gonna get the office location and the role of these new users. So we have a marketing manager here, sits in building 12, created on March 2nd. And we're just creating one table there per user record using Markdown. So if we come over to the artifacts, here's the user principal name and the list of actions we can run on it. So we can disable tokens, reset the password, disable the user account or remove it entirely. And we could take it further in MS Graph and do email queries like listing out emails that have certain subject lines to find a phishing campaign. Or we can look at and to make sure that the right set of emails is there for a new user just to, to make sure that they were onboarded correctly. So there's a number of places you could take that, but we're going to leave it open ended from this playbook. Just create the artifacts and present the note to the analyst. So that's it for today. Thank you.